Transition happening now. Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, episode number 131, brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. I want to do that like Shatner. <laughs> the world's largest knife store. Guys, I'm Andy. Molina's over here answering your questions. We are in the home studio broadcasting live. Uh, I was supposed to have five items today, but Slacker forgot the axe. I did. She did. She she left. She, maybe she just doesn't trust me with an axe. I'm I'm not positive on it. Trust but you're not. Give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, axes get heavy and they are hard to do on the giveaways. So. Uh, yeah, we did. We were supposed to have a Marbles Axe on the show today, but it did. It got left out at this point. But you can go check those out, man. They are cheap, awesome, and uh, they have really huge, great reviews on the web. We've had the, the small hand axe on a couple of times, and I was going to put the bigger 20-inch uh, axe on, uh, and it, it's a hunter's axe. And uh, they're great. I mean, you're talking about ni axes that are made in El Salvador, hand-forged heads, American hickory handles, that kind of stuff. But we don't have that today. But we do have four items to get into uh, welcome everybody on YouTube. Welcome everybody on Facebook. Again, this show is fly by to the seat of your pants, have some fun, love on some sharp and pointy things. That's just what we do. Ask all your questions to Melina. She will try to filter them out, answer what she can, and she'll throw the big ones over to me so that I can try to answer them on the air for you. We, of course, do have some business to take care of before we get into the whole show. Let me get this in the right spot because I feel like I'm not talking very loud. Um, Last week, we gave away that SMKW exclusive Hogue Decca. It was the red, white, and blue handled Hogue Decca. Uh, Mr. Malcolm Elliott won that. So congratulations, Malcolm, uh, for participating, for watching the shows. Thank you so much for doing that. And you are the winner of that red, white, and blue Hogue Delta uh, Decca that is our SMKW exclusive. And we will ship that out to you ASAP. Hang on one second here, guys. That sounds a little bit better in my ears. I can hear myself talk now. Um, also want to remind you that National Knife Day is coming. Mark your calendars right now. It is Monday, August 24th. We will begin. We will again be doing things special all day long. I'm going to talk in order at some point. But we're going to do things special, uh, specials and giveaways and all kinds of things all day long starting at 9 a.m. And uh, it'll be a little bit different than we did last year because we had a Saturday, we had a full crew, and we had a, a store at our disposal. But it's going to be just as good, if not better. And let me tell you why. We have over, right now, this is not all of them. They're not all here yet. But for National Knife Day, we have over 70 giveaways. 70. And they total, this isn't MSRP. This is real deal, regular store pricing. They total over five grand. 70 giveaways over five grand. I can tell you right now that there are things in this mix like, uh, let's just drop one out there. CRKT has been good enough to provide us with an Imperial White Provoke. That is only able to get that through CRKT. You can't get it through any store. We're getting one of those to give away. Uh, we also have a Benchmade Gold Class to give away. And uh, cross your fingers that Anthony Marfione and the guys over at Microtech get me the uh, knife I need. But uh, we're going to have a Microtech in the mix this year. So that is awesome. That is Monday, August 24th, starting at 9 a.m. We will go all day. Uh, we, of course, will tease this, tease this more and more and more as we get closer to the day. But, what we're like two and a half weeks out. Yes. Two and a half weeks out. And, and it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a lot of fun to get on there and do what we need to do. Um, so thanks everybody out there. If you're one of our vendors watching the show, thank you everybody for uh, pitching in and doing the doing this. Question. Is there a pen yet in the giveaways? There is not yet, but I can <laughs> tell you this. I have asked for someone else to ask Mr. Enrique Pena to give us a giveaway. You asked to? I, I asked uh, Josh and Tyler both, and so we're going to see if uh, that actually happens. Maybe Tyler will get that for us. Who knows? You guys always ask for the pina, and uh, we would love to give one away. They're just so sought after, it's hard to do. It just is what it is. Um, if you didn't see already this week, just another piece of business before we get into the show. Uh, CRKT dropped some mid-year 2020 uh, releases. There are five knives. We don't have them in stock yet, but they are up on the website. All you have to do is go to the website and uh, click uh, click through to that and then put your email in the notify me on the ones you want. You'll get notified as soon as they hit stock. Uh, CRKT, of course, made that announcement before they had our stock in hand, and that's the way that normally goes. 
but those are out there. There were five brand new knives. I wouldn't say brand new. There are five knives, and some of them are variations on other knives. In fact, four of them are variations on other knives. And there is one new one called the Razzle Cliff that I can't wait to put on the show when we get it. Because I just think that's a great name. Razzle Cliff. Yeah, that would be great. Yes. That would be super great. Yes, put that on. That's what we'll do. So let's jump into this, unless there are any questions, comments, thoughts coming up. Michael Pomorski asked how suspicious it would be if he called in sick on 824. I'm sorry? Michael Pomorski asked how suspicious would it be if he called in sick on 824. I don't think that most people know that it's National Knife Day, so Michael, just do what you need to do. How suspicious would it be if I called in sick on 824? Uh, you'd be in trouble. You, <laughs> your sick is right over there, so I mean, you're, you know, I'll get you. I know where you live. It's in the same house with me. Oh, I forgot one thing, and I'm going to bring it up because I hit the comments before. So we asked everybody if they could try to unseat Jason. It was Jason Brown, right? Yes. Unseat Jason as the first one into the YouTube live chat. And he got unseated today by Mr. It's Roy LeYoung. Yes, I believe it is. Roy, way to go. Way to unseat Jason. And we promised both of those guys because Roy unseated Jason. I'm sending him a swag bag and then... Jason will send you one, too, if we're holding the title as long as you did. So we'll see if Roy can hang on to the title and be the first in the chat uh, for the rest of the time, or does Jason take it back, or somebody else steps up in the mix and hits that live chat first. So in, in case you don't know what we're talking about, if we start YouTube, as soon as I put the uh, live up and out and ready to go, you can start chatting in the chat box. It just happens while you wait. Uh, so before the show goes live, Jason, for months, has been the first person in the uh, chat he got unseated today by Roy LeYoung. Let's jump into this, Joe. I have some cool stuff to show you. Um, and I have the wrong notes in front of me. Oh, I hope I didn't throw those away. Uh, yes. Hold on. We will do this. I have pulled the wrong notes off the top. Let me see what I can do here. Ha! Huh. So it wasn't just me in trouble. No. I just... The cat threw up on the other ones. I was not going to say it out loud, but the cat threw up on the other ones, and I have done the wrong print here. But we'll get it. We'll get it out. We'll get it to the right spot. Hold on one second. We'll do this the extra hard way. <laughs> We're just talking. It's okay. We're just talking. Just talk amongst yourselves while we figure this out. There's my notes right there. I can do it this way. Well, I should do it this way otherwise, not have to print it. But then I would have to cut my computer instead of paper, and that just wouldn't be good. Okay, let's jump into this. So the very first knife I have on the list today for episode number 131 is this cold steel. Boys, this is the Code 4. This is the aluminum handle version. Aluminum handle version of the Code 4. This is a super strong EDC uh, from cold steel. Let me open it up and tell you about this particular knife right here. Okay, so what you're looking at is a uh, 3.5 inch S35VN spear point blade with a satin finish. And this bad boy is 0.13 inches thick. You've got ambidextrous thumb studs on this. It is a triad lock. So that is a super strong lock from Cold Steel. Uh, it, the handles are aluminum and they're kind of a bronzish tone. I mean, it's almost taupe, right? Does that look taupe to you? That kind of looks taupe. It's almost a taupe aluminum color. I don't, yeah, it's, it's like a warm gray that's there. Uh, it is five inches closed. Let me show you what it looks like. You have to remember that it has actually a lock back. Here it is closed. It's five inches closed. There's the back. It does come with an extra pocket clip. So this thing is truly ambidextrous. You're going to get this in the box. So you can switch this over. All you lefties don't have to be disappointed. Five inches closed, smooth control open, just like this again. Boom, right there. And it is 8.5 inches overall. Weighs in at 4.3 ounces. <coughs> Excuse me. That is the Cold Steel Code 4. It is $99.99 at smkw.com. What do you guys think about this one? They like this one? Of course they like that one. Of course they do. There's a whole legion of Cold Steel out there. Wanting to do the thing. That triad lock is always so good and strong. And I like that it opens pretty darn easy. I shouldn't have eat that plate of eggs this morning. Boom. There you go. You're not going to flick this one. It's just not going to happen. 
uh, but it is a nice, easy open. Uh, that's the thing that I think I like about Cold Steel the most is the fact that uh, while you're going to have to use the hand slow, you can't flick it, uh, it is in the right spot to open all the way just fine. So that's a Cold Steel Code 4. Uh, code 4. It is $99.99 at smkw.com. A nice big knife from Cold Steel. Any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns so far? No. So the next knife I'm going to show you, the very next knife I'm going to show you is a knife that I've shown you before, but I showed you the single-bladed best man from Lion Steel. I want to show you the two-bladed version of this knife, um, and I don't know. I can't decide whether I like this one better or I like the other one, but I can tell you that I like Lion Steel. Almost everything they produce is just unbelievably awesome. This is the Lion Steel Best Man. Uh, it's a two-bladed uh, modern take on a traditional slip joint. Here's what that means. You've got a 2.8 inch clip point on this end. You have a um, 2.6 inch. They're saying worn cliff. I want to say that's almost a sheep's foot. Looks very like, very much like a sheep's foot to me. It's kind of like in between the two. These are M390 blades on this with a brushed satin finish, half stops, long pulls, and you can see the swedging. See the swedging on that sheep's foot? See the swedging on the, uh, it's right here on the clip point. M390 on those blades. Those bolsters, this frame is titanium, and that handle in the center is burlap micarta. I'm sorry, canvas micarta. That is brown canvas micarta fantastically gorgeous knife from lion steel this thing closes down to 3.77 inches uh, so it rides in the pocket really really nice let me close one of these down and i'll show you what this knife looks like <coughs> excuse me there's what that knife looks like fully open let me close it all the way again here half stop and you can hear that walk and talk right there and I can show you straight on. Look at those channels. It's nice. This knife is well put together. Those are screws. So you can take this apart if you want. Not that you need to. But this knife is made by Fox and made in Italy. It weighs 3.28 ounces. And this one in my hand right here, the Two Blade Best Man with the brown uh, natural micarta handles. $159.95 at smkw.com. Oh, those also have the crown spines. I don't know if I've, we've covered that a couple of times. but um, So this spine on the back of the blade is rounded, as are the back springs back here. So those are called crown spines. Somebody was nice enough to tell us that on the show here. And that's just a really nice touch to these knives. Again, M390 on the blades. Uh, that is the Lion Steel Best Man 2 blade. And it is $159.95 at smkw.com. Any questions? Uh, yeah. I'm dying. Wait, wait. On that cold steel, what's the blade thickness? The blade thickness. I, uh, I think I had that there. 0.13 inches thick on the cold steel. So it's just over an eighth. There is the blade thickness on that. You can't really see from that angle because of the swedging. So you have some swedging that's at the top of this blade, and you can see it right there if i can move it in the light see that swedge so it doesn't look as thick as you'd think but you can see the thickness in the um in the tang right there and at the top of the spine right there by the thumb stud so yeah it is uh 0.13 inches thick just over an eighth we agree that that's a sheep's foot i agree it's a sheep's foot too so sheep's cliff. a sheep's cliff? a sheep's cliff okay then anybody else Okay, I put a show on. I put a knife on the show today because I don't think it gets enough love, and everybody in the world has had this knife. If you got a granny, your granny has one of these knives. It's been in the drawer forever. It's probably blackened because it's 1095 carbon steel. But these have been made for a hundred years by Ontario Knife Company. This is an old hickory paring knife. Look at that thing. Right there, they have not stopped making these the exact same way they were making them for. And I'm not going to step on this headline at all. This can be yours for $8.99 at smkw.com. You're talking about a 4-inch a, a 1095 carbon steel paring blade. It's a 16th of an inch thick. 
and it's been tempered and heat treated. You know these knives, man. If you don't have one of these on your own already, or your granny didn't have one, you have seen these in somebody else's kitchen at some point. They are just a great little kitchen knife that if you take care of it, it will go super, super sharp really, really easily. Those are hardwood handles. Uh, that is the old hickory stamp right in there. They are made by uh, Ontario Knife Company. They have the double uh, compression uh, brass pins there, so those are compressed into place. And this thing is 7.6 inches overall. And yes, this is not made in China. They didn't change it. This is made in Ontario, New York at Ontario Knife Company. It is made in the USA for $8.99. Take care of this if you get it, though. Just wipe it clean, uh, dry it off, maybe put some mineral oil on it so it doesn't uh, taint your food. But the more you use this, the better it's going to be, and it will patina over time. I, I love this thing. That's why I wanted to put it on the show. In fact, we might not let this one go back to the store. This one might just reside with us in the house for a while. Cut my apples with that thing. This is a nice knife, guys. Eight ninety nine. You cannot beat that for a USA made um, pairing knife. Any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? I yeah, I love that knife too. I, and I've been wanting a while for a while to show it on the show. Let me remind you that we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. The largest. It's the biggest out there, man. If you have not been to our showroom, please come. 108,000 square feet in the showroom. We have every kind of knife you can possibly think of, from fantasy swords to daggers to Microtex to uh, Hogue. Everything you can think of. Moderns, traditionals. Uh, if you didn't see the video this week of the revamp of the case counter, go give that a watch. I think I dropped it uh, either yesterday. Yesterday, I think. It's been a long week. Drop that yesterday. It'll show you we took down the old case counter and put up the new one, and it's fully functional now and looks awesome. So thanks to the guys at Case for coming in and helping to do that and get that back into shape. Everything you can think of, ammo, apparel, boots, everything you can think of. Stores open now, Sunday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 10 to 8 p.m. Come see us at our retail showroom at uh, in Sevierville, I-40, exit 407. Also, make sure that you are going online because there's always cool things online. Get signed up for the newsletter. It's at the top of the homepage. It says sign up for our email newsletter or our e-letter or whatever it says there. Go sign up for that. You're going to get specials in your email every single day. Um, we'll probably show you things that you have not seen before, so go check that out and do all of that there. Any other questions before I move on to the very last item that we have today? No, but Mikey said, Mikey Rass said the price counter looks great. Awesome, thank you. I, I watched hard on it. <laughs> and it said the video was good, too. Yes, thank Isaac for that. Isaac put together the time lapse, and then Isaac and I sat down and crunched that one out. And uh, picked the music. We had a good time with it. So uh, that's really, I think, Isaac's first big project that's come out. So, uh, And uh, who was it that was in it? It was Casey. Casey Spiron that was in the store the other day. I got to meet Isaac. and kind of freaked Isaac out a little bit because he was like, <laughs> this guy walked up to me and said, are you Isaac? Because <laughs> he saw him filming in the store. It was just funny. Uh, but, yeah, no, Isaac did a great job on the video. We're glad that that case counter is back it up. We got one more knife. This is a new release for uh, the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. Um, basically, uh, Honey Badger. If you've not seen Honey Badger, this is a South African brand. Um, we are one of the few people in the States that actually sell Honey Badger. This is one of the releases from last year where they upgraded the steel in this, what they call the Warren Cleaver. And I have the large version in my hand right now. What I am so enthralled by on this knife is that it is ceramic ball bearings. And the action is incredible. Whether you use the flipper or you use the thumb hole, it just moves. Guys, It I... I cannot say this enough. It just moves. Let me go back here and see if I can. It, it's so easy to do. I might even be able to spidey flick it. Oh, I did. Let me see if I can do it on camera, though. Oh, boo. I got my fingers in the way. That's the biggest problem with that. There's that. And then here's with the flipper. Boom. This is the large version of the Warren Cleaver. There are both medium and small versions of this, but not in the D2 like this new blade has. This knife has a 3.6 inch D2 worn cleaver blade with a satin finish that does have a thumb hole open. It is a manual flipper. It is 0.12 inches thick and then it has the GFN handles or the FRN handles actually that are the honeycomb textured for 
honey badger got the honey badger right there in the middle you have a lanyard hole on this knife and it does have the ambidextrous tip up deep carry pocket clip on it closes down to 4.6 inches with a liner lock so you use that liner lock pop it closed there is the back 4.6 inches there is the front 4.6 inches you flip it over move it around in your hand flick it out and there it is overall comes out to 8.25 inches this is the large version of this weighs in at four ounces i really love me some honey badger for real i mean it doesn't get much better than that i love it fun stuff with the honey badger because honey badger don't care i like it what do you guys think of this knife they like it, it. What's the price on it? oh there's a price we have to test. See, I lost that off the screen. That was that was a problem. Price tag on this with the D2 is $63. $63 at smkw.com on this Honey Badger Warren Cleaver, the large version. I just can't get over the thumb thing. I mean, you guys know how terrible I am at that, or I'm getting better, but that right there, that tells you how easy this is. I'm going against gravity and still just flicking that thing right open fantastic 63 bucks at smkw.com and that is the last knife that we have today i have no idea what happened to the case signs and i can tell you that a lot of times when the brands come in they pay for that so we didn't we didn't buy the case stuff and have them put it up case bought their stuff and put it up so the original counter the signs the new counter case did that so case you know had people come in from the area and i think they had somebody come in from bradford and help with that but so they did that so that's really up to them what they do with those signs i don't know what happened to them uh, if they stuck around at all i'm gonna guess case uh, kevin pipes being the pack rat that he is and love of collecting things has those tucked away somewhere would you say so probably, probably. so uh, I, I don't know at this point what happened with those case signs. What else? Uh, now do we get to just hang out for a while? <laughs> <laughs> just get to hang out for a while. You guys got questions. I can hang as long as you want. You don't have questions. I really can't hang. Uh, so. Mike Jurgen says you might say they cased the joint. They did case the joint. They cased a specific part of the joint. Anybody else watching Peaky Blinders? I keep I keep watching that show. It's a lot of fun. Lots of knife play in that movie, in that show. Believe it or not, gunplay and knife play throughout Peaky Blinders. Yeah, there's a scene where one of the gypsies, the woman asks him if he has a sharp knife, and the look on his face is like, yes, yes, I do. And then he pulls it out of his boot. <laughs> have you watched season two of Umbrella Academy? I have not watched season two of Umbrella Academy. It has not happened yet. Guys, what else you want to talk about? Because I'm going to wrap this up. Show the SBR. Oh, he wants to see the short bladed Brock eye from la from Tuesday. Unfortunately, <laughs> I have it right here on the table because I was doing the get to the point videos today. There it is. That's the SMKW exclusive ProTech SBR uh, bead blast gray finish on the blade and on the uh, all the hardware, including the pocket clip right there. And then you've got anodized gray aluminum <laughs> handles on that as well designed by les george uh, i don't have a price tag in front of me so i don't know what that 200. was 200 200 on that and that is our smkw exclusive no we're not giving it away um so a couple things the backdrop is moving i know it is and it's because i it's got a fan on me because i'm hot today Same. It is hot. you feel like you're tripping out there man <laughs> just go with it take the yellows and the blues um, so there are a couple of different things that I, I, I have some rules about that we have to show knives that we have in stock. It has to be an extraordinary circumstance if we don't, if we don't, sh if we show a knife that is not in stock. Second of all, unless it's just something crazy special that is kind of like a one-off or a five, we only got five of them. If it's got less than probably three in inventory, I do not show them at all. 
I want you all be, to be able to look at the knives that I show and get them. And so I know these shows are going to be out there across the Internet for a while, so I try to pick that way. Then I try to pick also from new arrivals down. So I try to find something new that has come in and go through that. If that's not the case, then I'm going to try to find an assortment of knives uh, that are a little different from each other to put on the show. So whether there's a traditional, a modern, a fixed blade, that kind of thing, I want to show you an assortment of knives that are there. Does that kind of cover it? I yep. hope so. Um, <coughs> are there any new whiteboards coming out anytime? There are not any new whiteboards. I have been swamped with a ton of work for National Knife Day as well as other things and helping Isaac do some of this stuff. Um, why are you handing me this? I've got this on the show next week. We're not doing that they today. I don't care. <laughs> I the, one of the here, let me see it. Here, I'll get a different one. Was that the Was that the Gobi? That was the Gobi. Yeah, we're not showing the Gobi. Gobi's on the show. Hang on, I'm trying. I'm just gonna see here with my hand out. What happened to the axe? They asked. What happened to the axe? Melina forgot it. That's <laughs> what happened. These are exclusives from uh, CJRB and Artisan. All of them have those brown burlap micarta handles. They all have that orange anodized pivot collar. They all have the integrated orange aluminum spacer with the lanyard hole. You can see it right there. This, these are gorgeous. Um, this is that. This is the other one I put on the show. I think Baraka Bakara. I have no clue what this one's called. If you, it's on the box, right? It's 1909. 1909. That is a funky knife. I have not seen this one before, and I have this one on the show as well. So you really? you'll get to see it next week. So well, it's okay. We're not showing more. The important part is all of them, and there are eight, I believe, total, have the the brown burlap micarta handles, and they have the orange anodized pivot collar, and they have the integrated spacer into you, what you know as the standard pattern from cjrb or from artisan they're very pretty most of them are 50 59.99 i think that's the price range for most all of them uh jared just purchased a cd blade pocket hunter uh collecting it so it's not gonna be used or anything what's the best way to store it to keep it in its best condition um so you know I, I well number one you want to treat it but just barely you want to put some oil on it for sure you need to close it into wipe something, it down. wipe it down, and you're not going to put it, you don't want to put it in plastic, do you? I, I wrap it in that paper. Wrap it in the paper from, that came from Case, and then store it in a safe, dry place. Uh, moisture is the enemy. Any place that's going to be moist, uh, you're going to have an issue with it. But the, good, the key to this is, once every month, two months, pull that knife out, look at it, clean it, Put the oil back on it and do the same things again. This gives you a fun time, too, to look at your collection up close. So you just need to take care of it over time and try to keep it out of a moist area. Uh, you don't want it where it's going to collect even heat moisture. So if like if you put it in a sealed plastic bag and there was any moisture inside the bag, if, if that heat comes up and then forms the moisture inside the bag, you've got a problem. So you're just going to keep it in a cool, dry place and uh, keep it treated with the mineral oil. You should keep it pristine at that point. And just check on it from time to time. The worst thing you can do is put that onto a display board that is felt uh, or cardboard or that kind of thing and leave it. You Do not do that. We have seen so many collections come in where somebody put them into a collector's case, put them either on the wall or on a shelf, and left them for five years. It, the, the felt actually becomes one with the knife. It is a horrible, horrible thing to see and is a hard thing to clean off. It also will take away uh, the dye in your bone of the knife if it's there as well. <laughs> what else? Uh, there was more. Oh, can you show that lion steel again, please? Yes. The lion steel best man from the Peaky Blinders. There's the lion steel right there. I love those blades. M390 is always super sharp and stays sharp. That re that I have just unbelievably. Yeah, that background is kind of trippy. Blowing back and forth. She could always turn that fan that I have blowing right on me. Um, it's, fine. it's fine. That's it right there, guys. Let me show you what it looks like with the clip link closed and the sheep's cliff open. 
just a nice knife. A very nice modern take on a traditional knife. Nice stuff. Lion Steel Best Man. Right there. $159.95 at smkw.com. What else? We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Guys, mark your calendar for National Knife Day. It is coming. Mark your calendar. And uh, I sadly was going to give away the axe today, so we're not going to have a giveaway with this today's show. Were you really going to give away that axe? I was going to give away that axe. It's, it, it's, our, our, I'm going to ask you guys out there, are we not headed directly towards fire pit time? I mean, we are on the last long haul to fire pit mania. It is that time of year where you begin preparing. You think whether you need to go cut some wood or have some wood brought in, uh, <laughs> where you're going to put the fire pit in the backyard, and I wanted you to have something for your fire pit. We'll get back on the show at some point, but we are not going to do a giveaway today. Uh, remember, we've got 70-plus giveaways coming up on August 24th, National Knife Day. Those will start at 9 a.m. sharp and end by 6 p.m. that day. You do not want to miss it. Mark your calendar and join us for those days. Uh, it is Thursday, so I'm going to say to you, have a great weekend. Go check out everything that's on smkw.com. Uh, mull over the videos that are out there. Make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel, doing all that you need to do. Join the Facebook Army, the SMKW Facebook Army, and just talk to us there. It's a lot of fun. We put a lot of things up, and a lot of people converse with each other and just share what they're doing out there. So go join that. Follow us on Instagram. Do all the things. Do all the things. Get entered in this week's giveaway. It is an artisan copper and uh, do that on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Melina's been happy enough to answer all your questions. Way to go, Roy, unseating Jason again today. My name is Andy. This has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. We will catch you on Tuesday. See you then, guys. <laughs>